the case of supporting these programs. To encourage operators to get out of Okay, well, this is the Solar Smoke Direct Conversion Receiver Project, which uh, I've been tinkering with for some time, and uh, it's working quite well now. The tuning is uh, quite um, quite sensitive, uh, but um, no, it sounds good. Um, I did learn a few lessons along the way in this project, and uh, uh, I should say I have a, a shelf of shame of projects which I've started and not got working uh, adequately in the past, and um, I'm encouraged to go back and uh, have another go at some of them. Uh, firstly, um, if you're going to build this, uh, do follow the latest schematic which is available uh, via Discord. Um, the ones up on, um, on uh, Hackaday are a bit out of date and a few components have changed. Um, a big lesson I did learn was that uh, transistor testers, uh, like this one, uh, which uh, it's a beautiful unit, but I don't recommend it. Uh, it actually gave me the wrong pinouts. It had um, emitter and collector swapped over for the 2N3904, and that caused me quite a, quite a few days of grief trying to work out why on earth uh, I wasn't getting the gain I expected. Actually, that's an interesting point. Um, transistors actually do work with emitter and collector swapped, they just don't have as much gain. So I built the audio stage and didn't get as much gain. And um, I, uh, horror of horrors, I, uh, I put in a little LM386 in order to get uh, speaker output. And the receiver worked quite well uh, under those conditions, but uh, Bill correctly um, pressured me to get back to the design and um, uh, remove that horror. Um, the audio chain though does have a lot of gain and uh, I did have trouble with it taking off. Now it isn't obvious when it takes off, uh, Mine, um, uh, some of them take off in audio, and I do have that if I turn the gain up full, I get an audio feedback. Um, but uh, what happens is uh, it, it just goes quiet, and when I looked at it on the Crow, I could see it was taking off at about 150 kilohertz, and I could see that on the Crow. So um, if you don't have a Crow and your audio just seems to go quiet, it could be that it's actually oscillating. So the trick there is to keep all the leads really short, and I build everything on these um, uh, copper board with... Um, with meat pads or equivalent uh, on top of them. Um, the other thing I had, a couple of problems with the PTO, the permeability tuned oscillator, uh, was that uh, I didn't have enough output from it. And uh, it turned out that uh, there is a modification in the latest schematic to put a capacitor across the source uh, resistor, and that boosted the gain up nicely. Another thing I learned there is that um, you should use the X, the times 10 switch on the Crow probe. I hadn't thought that's necessary. Micro says that it's uh, one meg ohm input. But what I hadn't thought about is all the lead capacitance. So by using the 10X Pro, sorry, we've got a bit of storm activity here and it's breaking through. Um, <clears throat> the um, Using the 10X actually makes quite a big difference. And I think it's lead capacitance, which is the answer there. My, um, just unplug that for a second. My um, a permeability tuned oscillator was uh, very unstable. I had just used ceramic capacitors and uh, bad move. Uh, you do need to use uh, temperature compensated NP0 capacitors. And I did get some uh, from my friend uh, VK3ZZC. He gave me a little bag of them some years ago. I dug it out and uh, that fixed that problem. Um, so uh, in the end though, it, uh, it works quite well as described. Uh, I tried moving the volume control further away, but that made it very unstable. So uh, now I'll just have a bit of a tune around to finish off. But uh, look, um, thanks Bill and Dean for a terrific project. And if anyone's thinking of building it, uh, I highly recommend it. Let's tune around. Yeah. 
out through the side of the fuselage and uh, uh, back in again with a, a bullet connector, you know, so that uh, they, uh, they, they just, when they're ready to power the motor up, they just plug it together. Power 39.12 grams over. Good Australian rural discussions here. Anyway, look, uh, thanks again for the project. Really enjoyed it, and I do encourage anyone to uh, to give it a go and do get onto the Discord. The um, the discussion there is really excellent. VK three TPM out.